welcome here to Toolkit CB and welcome back to the channel guys for another day under the stewardship of Chavi Hernandez as the Barca coach and in today's video we're going to be talking again about some of those really intriguing changes on the side of Chavi towards this Barca team. We're going to be talking about Chavi's approach to the tactical side and how already his training methods are proving to be drastically different from what we've seen under Ronald Koeman, especially from that tactical viewpoint. And we're also going to be talking about another Chavi change, particularly on the mental side and looking at the preparation on match day at the club. There is lots to discuss and lots to enjoy. So let's get to it. But first of all, what I would like to do is talk about the rumours that have been circulating in the Spanish media over the past 24 hours when it comes to the selection of Xavi Hernandez at Barca. In terms of the players that he either feels that he can rely on during his time as coach, or maybe those that he's not quite sure on. One of the names that has come up and quite repeatedly in the media is Gerard Pique. And it is being reported right now that Xavi is a little bit doubtful when it comes to Pique's regular participation in his Barcelona team. One thing that Xavi is very much aware of is Piquet's struggles with injury over the past few seasons and particularly there the fact that Piquet has often played through those injury problems particularly when it comes there to knee pain also the problems that he's had with his hip which of course is commendable that Piquet has been putting his body through it putting his body on the line no matter what he always wants to be available for Barca but at the same time, in the biggest games, in the biggest moments, you need everybody on that pitch to be 100% right to play. And often when PK is playing through those problems, you do feel as though it can be at a detriment to the team. And I just think right now, Xavi is looking at that situation. Apparently, he's going to put a lot of faith in Eric Garcia. He's also going to take a really good look at Umtiti, a long lead to Araujo, of course, is going to be big in his plans. But PK, right now, the jury is out onto exactly how much of the time he's going to be fit and in Xavi's team. However, when it does come to Sergio Busquets, things do look a little bit different. Apparently, Xavi is a very firm believer that he can get the best out of Sergio Busquets, which you'd have to admit at club level there, at Barcelona level, we haven't quite seen that best version, what Busquets really can do for quite a long time. But when you look at Busquets for Spain, it's a very different story. We've seen him under Luis Enrique play extraordinarily well there at the Euros. And again, now in the qualifying matches, he has been absolutely outstanding there playing with with quality around him, of course, but most importantly, playing in a system that suits his best qualities. And I do think right here that Xavi is going to look at a lot of the players that we do have, because it's not just Busquets there where this applies, but there's lots of players at Barca that I don't think we've been playing to their strengths. We haven't actually been giving them the right conditions, the right foundations to actually go and succeed. And that's why right now, for many, many of the players, it's difficult to know who doesn't belong here, who is not at the level anymore to play at Barca, or... Just who's underperforming? Who hasn't quite been given those conditions to succeed? And there's a lot of players at Barca, I feel, that Xavi can get the best out of by playing to those strengths. Because I think when you look back there at Ronald Koeman's time at the club, honestly, especially towards the end, there was just nothing there. There was no system. There was no organisation. And I genuinely believe there was a real lack of of tactical preparation. I think players, when you look at them out on the field in their positioning, they would look lost, they would look very confused as to exactly what they were supposed to be doing. And I think especially towards the end, there was a real disconnect there between the coach and his players. Nobody really knew what was supposed to be going on. And that was only ever going to end one way. And that was, of course, in Ronald Koeman's sacking. And I think a good example about that disconnect and a good example of a player not really understanding his role would really be looking at somebody like Frank de Jong. I think he's a player who in every single game you could never doubt his commitment. He's always covering a lot of ground. Such a hard-working player. But I think if you actually looked at his performances over the course of this season, he does look lost. He does look very confused as to either where he's supposed to be on the field or what role he's supposed to be occupying in that midfield. And I think when you're talking about players like De Jong, the quality that they have, these are not just good players. These are fantastic players with so much quality and all the attributes that you would need to succeed at Barca. And it just seems like a crime right now that we haven't been getting the best out of them. We cannot waste this kind of talent for a single second longer. But of course, how do you put that right? Well, this is why, in Monday's training session, it was music to my ears to hear 
about what was going on in that session. Because apparently there, when a lot of the players came back into the squad, especially the Spanish internationals, Xavi had a lot more players to work with, and that was when he really started to focus, apparently, on the tactical side of the game. The tactical approach here that we're going to have as Barca, the way we're going to prepare for games, and the way that we're going to execute Xavi's game plan out on the field. And it has been reported in the media that in that training session, there was nothing crazy, nothing absolutely revolutionary in that training session. It was simply a few clear changes to our approach and explanations towards the players on exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And it is said that in that training session, Xavi specifically explained to each player what their purpose is in possession of the ball and also out of possession too. Chaffee explained there what he would expect of each player in terms of their roles and also where you should be. In each third of the field, apparently, Chaffee broke it down there into the different areas of the field and he was explaining in the defensive third, you've got to be here. In the middle third, you've got to be here. And then in the final third, you've got to be here. Very, very simple, very clear explanations, but very, very important so the players understand where they should be. And the line that really did get me here about this session on Monday, even though it was nothing too over the top, even though you don't want to pile too much on the players too soon, it was said there that even Chavi's introduction into the tactical side, even there, just some of those simple explanations, it said that was more tactical work than was done in the entirety of Ronald Koeman's time as the coach. Well, like I say, I genuinely believed they were undercoached in that area. I genuinely believe there was not a tactical outlook. There was not really any tactical preparation. It was very much the players out there. They were given a lot of freedom. Quite often, we were disorganised, disjointed, and they were left very much to their own devices. And that is not the sign of a team with a clear plan. And I think Chaffee coming in now, these early days, of course, there's still a lot of work to do. There's plenty more days where we're going to have to go through this kind of process, but very early on here. To be very clear, very direct with the players about what their role is and where they need to be with and without the ball, we desperately crave that. However, guys, there is one more change that I do want to bring you for the end of today's video because it's focusing more, not on the tactical side, but again, looking at that mental side and especially there with a real focus on Xavi right the way through his time here. What he really wants to do is bring this team together, really focus on creating a bond between the players. And he's made another change that will only work towards that because we have been used to, particularly there when it comes to home matches at the camp now, before the game, around two hours before the game, one hour and a half there, each of the players would arrive at the stadium themselves and they would arrive in their own cars. They would come in on their own, they wouldn't be together, often there at slightly different times and they would basically get to the game and then make their way of course to the dressing room. However, again, this is something Xavi wants to change. Back to something that he experienced when he was a Barca player, he again is reverting to what he knows and what he knows works very well. Because now, for instance, on Saturday in the game against Espanyol, Barca will have a training session there in the morning, something like there before the match later on in the day. Then from that training session, the Barcelona players will then go to a hotel. It'll only be, of course, in the city. It's not going to be miles away. They're not going on a holiday on match day, but they're going to be moved to a hotel. And then from there, Two hours before the game, every single member of the squad will get on the team bus and they will travel to the stadium together. Now, of course, that may not seem like anything crazy, and it's not. You know, it's something that a lot of teams already do, but it's something I feel that you should do. Because I think they're getting on a bus with all of your team, then travelling to the match all together. That just flicks a mental switch in your mind. That just lets you know it's game time now. We're on the bus. We're on our way to the stadium. We're all together, same time, same place. It's ready to go. And right now, what we're seeing from Xavi is a number of rules, a number of different changes that are all building towards more concentration, more focus from the team on what they have to do as players. And this for me, again, it's a simple change, but an important one in that preparation. And so indeed, guys, those right there are some more of the changes that we're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis under Xavi Hernandez. And of course, it's only going to improve as well as more and more players come back from international duty as we move through this week. It is going to get really, really intense as we get closer to that big first game for Xavi in the derby match at the Camp Nou against Espanyol. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what we discussed today on the tactical viewpoint there, the work that's being done in training, and the players understanding their roles in the system. Let me know your thoughts as well on that little change there to the preparation on match day in terms of travelling to the game. And also, please, don't forget to check out the other upload today. That is over on More Talk FCB. 
as we're discussing the extremely exciting news there on RB Salzburg striker Karim Adeyemi. It's all there for you guys. And of course, I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Basha. Oh.